Okay, so welcome to our channel. And today we're going to be comparing fractions on a number line. Okay. So when you're done, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you can get all of the other videos that are coming this way. All right, so we have a number line here and this question is asking which one is greater. Okay, so we see that we have two number lines and they're both actually broken up into fourths, right? And so we have three fourths and one fourth and they wanna know which fraction is greater. So three fourths is greater, right? It's closer to the whole, right? It's closer to being, it's closer to the number one and it's closer to being a whole piece of the number line, okay? All right, let's look at another one. All right, here again we have two number lines and they're both broken up into eighths, okay? So our first number line has two eighths and our second number line has five eighths. And again, the question is which one is greater? So which one is closer to being a whole? Which one is, you know, closer to the number one on the number line? So as an active learner, you're taking, you know, um, an educated guess on which one you think is greater and let's see if you were right. If you said five-eighths, you are correct. Five-eighths is greater than two-eighths, right? You can see that it is closer to the one. All right, let's see if it says what is less, which fraction is less. So again, we have the two number lines and these two number lines are broken up in the same increments, right? They're both broken up into thirds. So this fraction is two thirds and this fraction is one third. So this one wants to know which fraction is less. So it would mean the one that's closer to the zero, right? Because then there would be another fraction that's closer to the whole. So this one is less, right? And it's probably closer to the zero. So which fraction is less? Again, you're taking an educated guess and one third. One third is less than two thirds, okay? And you can see by the picture, okay? All right, our next slide shows two number lines and it asks which fraction is greater. So again, the two number lines are broken up into fourths, okay? The first one shows three fourths and the second fraction shows four fourths. So they're broken up in the same increments and it wants to know which fraction is greater, right? So which one's closer to a whole or in this case, a whole. So is it three fourths or four fourths? So have something in your head and let's see four-fourths is greater, right? It's the actual one, it becomes a whole number. So it is greater than three-fourths. All right, this one wants to know which fraction is less. And again, these two number lines are broken up into the same increments. They're both broken up into fifths, right? And the first number line shows four-fifths, and which is you know, almost the whole, we, we can see that one more fifth and it would be five fifths, it'd be the whole number. And then we have two fifths. So this this question wants to know which one is less. So again, be having a fraction in your mind, do you think four fifths is less than two fifths or do you think two fifths is less than four fifths? And if you said two fifths, you are correct, right? because two-fifths is closer to the zero, four-fifths is obviously closer to the whole. All right, this question wants to know which fraction is less. And again, these two fraction li number lines, these number lines are broken up into the same kind of segments. So we have fourths, we have two-fourths on the first number line and one-fourth on the second number line. And it wants to know which fraction is less. So would you say two fourths is less than one fourth or would you say one fourth is less than two fourths? 
Okay, which one is the smaller fraction? And yes, it is one fourth. Okay, which fraction is greater? So these number lines are broken up into eighths. The first fraction shows four eighths, and the second number line shows six eighths. This question wants to know which fraction is greater. Okay, so again, when we're talking greater, closer to the one, right? Closer to the whole. And so is four eighths greater or bigger than six eighths, or is six eighths greater or bigger than four eighths? So make your decision. And yes, six eighths is greater than four eighths. And notice how close it is to the one, right? It's closer to the one than four eighths. So six eighths is definitely bigger. All right, here we have two number lines, but they're not broken up into the same segments, okay? The first fraction, the first number line is broken up into halves, and the second number line is broken up into thirds. So we can look and we can still see. So they're giving us one half and two thirds, and they want to know which one is less, okay? So which one's less than? Which one's closer to the zero on the number line? And if you said half, you were correct, right? Half is less than two thirds. Okay, let's continue. All right, again, we have two number lines. The first one is broken up into eighths and shows us and represents three eighths. And the second number line is broken up into fourths and they have one fourth graphed off here. And they want to know which fraction is less. So which fraction is closer to the zero, right? Which fraction is smaller? And you could think of this as like if you were running, right? Or you were walking somewhere. If you walked this distance or you walked this distance, which one, you know, did you walk less, right? So if you said one fourth, you are correct. All right, here again, we have two number lines and they are broken up into different segments. The first number line is broken up into fifths and the second number line is broken up into tenths. And the first number line shows three fifths and the second number line shows one tenth. And the question is which fraction is greater, right? So greater, which fraction is more? Which one is closer to one, right? So which one do you think is greater? Um, Three-fifths it is. Three-fifths is greater than one-tenth. Okay. Here we have a number line broken up into eighths and one that is broken up into half. And so the first number line shows two-eighths and the second number line shows half. So this question asks which fraction is less. Okay. So which one is closer to the zero on the number line? All right. If you said two eighths, you are correct. Two eighths is less than half. Okay, and this is our last one. And it wants to know which fraction is greater. So again, we have a number line that is broken up into eighths and it shows five eighths. And the second number line is broken up into fourths and it shows three fourths and it wants to know which one is greater. So which one is closer to the whole? Which one is more? All right. And if you said three fourths, you are correct. Okay. And so that's how we can compare fractions on a number line. So thank you for joining me and I hope to see you again. Don't forget to like, and subscribe so you can watch all the educational videos that are coming up. All right, see you soon.